turned itself into that's it right. like an ice cream truck. Or, or Patrick, that's right. The Jurassic Park Rover is now from Twisted Metal. They switched it out. Their strategy is to just switch cars instead of tires. Five minutes of driver change, five minutes. The first driver change coming up very shortly. Just a few minutes here. Meanwhile, as we look through the field, the attrition's already begun to set in. However, Bubar Labs having their best run yet, third place. The slow and steady strategy has been working out brilliantly for them. A lot of fast cars, Patrick, have made a lot of early mistakes, and only the slower cars are capitalizing it right now. Amazing slides from Kartashri in the turn one. He's been using this line. If I could get over here, because you know that's safe. He's got a lot of work ahead of him. If you can look right over there at the entryway, you can see his tire tread just squeak out a little bit. He's been doing that for the last three to four laps. He's trying to carry his momentum through. That or he's just trying to get better grip. But meanwhile, Phantom has been able to keep the wheels planted. The rear wheel, you can see the rear wheel on the inside rotate a tiny bit faster because it's getting the slightest little wheel hop to it. And that's because of its dual front brakes on that car that they got from a Chinese motor Pretty scooter. Pretty wide across the start finish. Oh, and Hominator! It's Hominator cutting off Phantom. Hominator, mind cut, gaining back on Phantom. Hominator holding off Phantom. Coming in second place. So now this definitely becomes a discussion of who has the better battery strategy. And also, Phantom three wide again. Hominator really came into the guy there. Ladies and gentlemen, the Hominator number 84 right there. Only car on track right now with a full suspension. That's right, those have springs and a few A arms. Three over. minutes to drive a change, three minutes. Now you take a look at Phantom's driving strategy right now. Their, their method to, of their madness is very simple. They just have to stay out of trouble. They have proven to have a consistent car as long as they don't get a flat, ladies and gentlemen. The flat is their ultimate weakness. It takes a while to change the tire on that car, almost longer than some of the other vehicles out there. So as long as they keep things in order and they don't get into too many collisions, they have an excellent strategy to win this race. Hominator strategy, is a lot more ambitious, but doable. And Fubar is actually just holding it together. All they have to do is stay out there. Cartasivy looking to lap my car here. Cartasivy's got a huge, they have to go through the entire field. Still 10 laps down on the leader. Stuck in ninth place there. Got a pass here. The mine car undoing one of their laps. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, the, the Cartastri car is going to be a very interesting story. They are way back in position now, but we know they're fast enough to climb the way through. So it's going to be very interesting where they end up at the end of the day as they fight their way through the field. It's going to have to come down to their pit strategy, make sure that they're in and out as fast as possible, and putting down lots of laps while everyone's changing batteries. And our first stint is coming up very soon in the next couple right. seconds. So ladies and gentlemen, you want to turn your attention towards the pits very shortly. This horn will go off and then the first mandatory pit stop of their endurance race begins. Where teams will have to fix and mend their cars, swap out their batteries, and hopefully some of them won't have to do tire changes unless the wear is getting too much for them. This is a very sticky track. If you look to the front of the track, you can see tire treads from almost every different, different racing line that we've seen. A lot of them make sense, and a lot of them don't make sense, but they've tried just about everything. One minute to driver change, one minute. In fact, it looks like Lego cars are about to finish up whatever repair they got. They might be able to get out for this next stint. That's right, Patrick. Lego car, which they had less than a few weeks to build that thing. They're going to need a lot of Moxie to make up for all that they're losing. Same thing with the Kansas City. Stephen C. Casey, your hometown hero, is also stuck in the pits. 30 seconds to driver change. They're going to need all the moxie they can get. Their low town makerspace, if you like what they have here and want to make them have a winning car, you can join their makerspace. They've got all sorts of classes. They're the first makerspace here in Kansas City.
All right, as Next we want Extra change here coming up. Here we go. Everyone's going to have to fit. This is going to be close. Who's <laughs> Mandatory driver change. Everyone coming to the pit lane here. Here we go. It looks like Phantom Strategy was the going early. Cartastrophe is going to have an amazing stop here in order to pull it up. And they overshoot the pits just slightly. Oh, but there he goes. Here comes the oh. pit. And they, were, they cut off Omaha the first one out. They cut off Omaha into the pit entry. Meanwhile, Phantom is still in there. Catastrophe is going to be able to gain laps on them. Omaha Maker Groups is having extra difficulty. They have two cars to pit. They're feeling both of them an extra long stop for the kit car. But the Minecraft part is on its way already. Humminator's already back out. A very fast pit stop from them. Kansas City also making their way back out. A very long pit stop for Omaha Maker Group's pit car. Very long. Phantom back on the way with their driver change. I'd say those pit stops, Cartastrophe was the fastest. Yes. In fact, it was Cartastrophe went from ninth to seventh place because of that pit stop. They undone two laps off of the uh, leader. Patrick. A little bit better next time, they might be able to take the lead. Patrick, I have a hilarious fact for you right now. Phantom Power Racing, your leader in that rat rod out there, the driver reported back in the pits. His tires were too cold at the start. He had no grip until at least seven laps in. Unbelievably, his tire temperature is actually factoring into his performance right now. Something I would not expect from a toy car. The wrong tires do wear. I wonder if tire wear might be now an issue for him. That's he's true, Patrick. Trip, but he's also losing the tread. This is a fairly green track that we have. Extra grippy. It's great for cornering, but it can be detrimental to a set. Oh, the beach ball has been grabbed by Catastrophe. Oh no, uh, CCC Casey, it looks like a caution there. Oh wait, <laughs> Kansas City out of came power out there. They are out of commission. They're gonna have to be guided all the way back to pits. Yeah, that's a long trip back. For Kansas City with it. Looks like they may have thrown a chain. Yeah, it definitely looks like that, Patrick. We're gonna have to get that back on there and get back out. But once they clear the track, we can go back underway. All right. Here we go. Back underway, green flag. Give a round of applause for Kansas City, though, your hometown team. They are trying to do a big catastrophe. Now moved up the fifth, clawing their way back up the chain here. They've already made up four positions just from that pit stop alone. That was a massive game for them. And they have a ways to go. No, Cartastrophe's next rival is Kit the Knight Rider. And Kit had the worst pit stop out of all of them. But it was a little bit of help from Cartastrophe, which I find very interesting. But ladies and gentlemen, we're looking for a position attack coming up soon. Cartastrophe heading on to Kit Car right over there. We're going to see just how much of a speed difference we're getting here. Also with the slower traffic holding up Kit while giving Cartastrophe an advantage. You can see the amount of time distance between them shortening. Now Cartastrophe is almost there with Kit Car. That is a battle for position. And the Twisted Metal Ice Cream Truck. Sweet Tooth. Oh, and Maker Group collided with Catastrophe. They got back underway. That was a battle for position. That would be just a racing incident. And for Catastrophe, they need to pass that Omaha Maker Group. They do need to get by Omaha Maker Group. They want to get by. And it's looking like a good opportunity. They're slowing up right on the end of the turn there. Now Catastrophe's right on their they bumper. Good. They got the straight line speed. They, they got, got the opening. They need they to go. make a pass here. They're going to go for it late. A late breaking turn. And they, they got, got it. it. They have got it. Oh, and Phantom, the leader coming in with second place. It's oh, no. a mess right now. <laughs> Unbelievable. All the leaders got together. Like all of them. Why? I don't even, 
that Lego car had a pretty nasty bite there from the leader. Oh, yep. Phantom's getting black flagged for taking out the Lego car. Oh no! Lego team taken out again! Who hit him this time? This time there was a Hominator. Do we have to penalize both of them? I'd say that's fair. I don't know, I didn't miss that one. Alright, so fun fact, stop hitting the Lego car, guys. Stop hitting. Bring in the Hominator for that, too. Oh, he's getting a light penalty for the leader. He has to drive with the fail whale now. That will affect his hand operation. Green fly racing. Back on the way. That is definitely a warning. He's driving with the fail whale. It's not too bad. He's keeping it together. He's hugging it a little bit. He really likes that whale. He's friendly. That's what you get for taking out one of our cars. He's yeah. got now drive with that for the rest of his stint. Patrick, I think this is a good idea. We penalize people who hit the light. Oh, no! Look at going up on two wheels. He's fine. He's all right? You guys didn't hit him, did you? You leave Lego car alone. He's trying to race. Let the Lego car race. Poor Lego car is getting beat up. The Lego car is bruised and beaten but it continues to go on. The attrition that we're seeing out there, everyone keeps stepping on the Lego and they're not getting hurt from it. I'm surprised they didn't bring Legos to just dump on the track, just to give them for what, what's worth to yeah. everyone else. Yeah, pop everyone's tires. Yeah. Three wide again to the start finish. That was the best, slowest three wide, three wide battle I've ever seen. Again, it's the battle of the boxes again. Lego the box fighting. So much boxing going on on this track. Cartastrophe about to overtake the minecart. Oh no, it did. Cartastrophe just overtook the minecart. Cartastrophe's now moved up to third place. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from ninth up to third now. Cartastrophe's been climbing through the field, making up for their early lap mistake, which I believe was a fuse blow. They are climbing 